Um, well, first of all, I want to uh, thank uh, Joe and his uh, staff uh, at the uh, PP, uh, at the Partners in Population Development, uh, for their uh, leadership and uh, support in this uh, uh, project. Uh, specifically, uh, besides Joe Thomas, I'd like to express my appreciation for Lorna, who's been very extremely helpful, as well as Nasrul and the entire uh, staff. The history actually goes back to uh, uh, Cairo, uh, where um, a statement uh, in support of uh, population stabilization uh, was uh, uh, presented uh, uh, with the uh, signatures of um, uh, 75 uh, uh, heads of uh, governments. Um, my own uh, experience in India uh, dates back to uh, 1963 when I first arrived there and um, the uh, uh, Colonel Reyna was the head of the family planning program and, and he had suggested to John D. Rockefeller who was my employer at the time that a statement be written and then signed by uh, world leaders and so uh, as it turns out my friend uh, Sapal Matal, a parliamentarian from uh, the Punjab, uh, had uh, arranged for uh, Rajiv Gandhi uh, to present uh, this statement uh, to the United Nations uh, on the uh, 40th uh, uh, anniversary uh, of the, of the uh, founding of the UN to the uh, then Secretary General. And then uh, 10 years later, I arranged with my friend uh, uh, Haryana Sayono, the chairman of the BKPN, uh, to have uh, President Suharto uh, personally write uh, 109 heads of governments uh, in support of the statement and 75 uh, heads of governments uh, signed the statement. And so the question is, is that how does one follow up uh, uh, from uh, statements to uh, specific uh, reports uh, uh, focused on uh, population uh, stabilization? Um, and each country uh, has its own uh, path, uh, beginning with uh, how uh, men and women are given opportunities to have uh, children when they want them, uh, how youth are uh, creating uh, opportunities for themselves that provide, uh, that provide an alternative to uh, adolescent pregnancy, uh, preventing um, uh, teen uh, teenager adolescent pregnancy within the con uh, cultural context in which uh, the um, uh, pressures for uh, early age marriage occurred, or arranged marriages, marriages supported by dowry. And um, uh, India has always been a, a leader uh, in uh, family planning and population from the very beginning, in the beginning in the, in the 50s. And um, uh, I had the privilege of working there, and then cer certainly the current a huge commitment of billions of dollars, both in the infrastructure of primary health services and in the highly incentivized ways in which the full mobilization of uh, family planning field workers and uh, private and public doctors are, are being mobilized today. And that report has been uh, re uh, reported by uh, Anuratna Gupta, am I pronouncing it correct? At any rate, um, at all the uh, PPD meetings uh, that I've attended over the last uh, six or seven years, and it's uh, quite exciting. Our two reports, one on uh, Bihar and the other on uh, Uttar Pradesh, uh, uh, reflect uh, where it is that uh, the policy apparatus uh, fits within the context of the existing government uh, policies and programs, which are extremely dynamic uh, and um, require enormous amount of management. Uh, and there's obviously going to be side effects associated with any program, but it is if, the, if there's any chance of uh, replicating uh, what has occurred in Tamil Nadu and, uh, 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 and in um, Kerala uh, and in Andhra Pradesh and even West Bengal and the Punjab, uh, to uh, Uttar Pradesh and Bihar, it's certainly reflected in the dynamic uh, um, and very powerful uh, policy and program implementation that's currently going on in India. And the civil society really can only sit back and look and admire uh, this uh, incredible leadership and commitment that's taking place today. The other uh, countries um, that are uh, in this report, I, my friends from Indonesia and Tunisia and um, uh, Thailand, other PPD, had suggested that they be involved in this project, and I felt that since they've already uh, re achieved uh, uh, total fertility rates of uh, close to replacement, I felt that uh, it was more important to go to those countries that, that had not. 
And so um, uh, we may go back to uh, countries that are in the partners in population like um, uh, uh, Tunisia, Morocco, uh, Mexico, Thailand, uh, Vietnam, uh, Indonesia, and then show where possibly some of the paths that have been taken uh, can be uh, replicated es elsewhere. But uh, Sub-Saharan Africa provides a, a very a unique uh, and, um, experience that is, can only be addressed by the African leaders. And I wanted to uh, introduce one of the uh, distinguished authors from uh, Zimbabwe, uh, Dr. Uh, Mawara. He, um, in his report that you'll read in this report, shows that uh, early uh, leadership uh, in family planning uh, in spite of all the problems that Zimbabwe's had, uh, carries on at a level for which there is quite a high level of contraceptive prevalence uh, in spite of the enormous problems Zimbabwe's been going through over the last uh, 15 years. Do you want to say something or do you want to, you know, do you, you're the author, so if, you, if I'm mis misrepresenting you, please let me know. <laughs> Okay, uh, thank you very much, uh, distinguished uh, guests, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I feel greatly honored to be up here. I know that there are a few other colleagues who are in the audience who are also part of this process. Uh, what I would want to say is that uh, uh, this was quite uh, an interesting exercise uh, when we went through uh, this, this activity. Uh, it made us also realize that uh, we had a lot of information which we needed to look at and uh, you know, put together, which would assist us in terms of programming for family planning, population and development within our own countries. Thank you very much. Thank you. Other authors, I don't know whether uh, Adama Diara from Mali is here. Is he here? Is one of the authors, he's the author from Mali? Is, 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 are you here? You're here. He's very modest, so if he's uh, here, he, he, it's hard to, uh, but uh, come on up. Please, come on up. Yeah. Uh, if there is one country in Sub-Saharan Africa for which uh, challenges are extremely daunting, it's uh, Mali uh, and the Mali report. So would, would you just sit here for the hot seat for a second and tell everybody okay. a, a little bit about your report? <laughs> no, that's fine. Uh, yeah, okay. you, you give us the speakers on. Merci. Uh, I would like to speak in, uh, in French. Donc, euh, je voudrais tout d'abord euh, euh, remercier les partenaires en population et développement pour euh, nous avoir donné cette opportunité de faire l'étude de stabilisation de la population au Mali. Comme l'a si bien dit euh, mon collègue du Zimbabwe, c'était un exercice très intéressant qui nous a permis d'avoir une idée générale sur l'état de la population au Mali. C'est vrai qu'officiellement au pays, euh, des études sont de temps en temps entreprises, mais je crois que c'est la première fois qu'une étude de stabilisation de la population est, est menée avec l'appui de l'organisation qui a financé et euh, partenaire en population et développement. Ce que nous allons faire de ce rapport, c'est de le partager avec les autorités du Mali, les ONG impliquées dans les questions de population et développement, et voir dans quelle mesure nous pouvons euh, tirer profit des recommandations qui sont mentionnées dans le rapport pour pouvoir euh, encore améliorer la situation de stabilisation de la population. Au Mali. En tout cas, merci pour nous avoir donné cette opportunité. Merci. Is 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 uh, our uh, author uh, uh, from uh, 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 from Ghana, uh, Esther? Is, are you here? Uh, Ghana. Uh, uh, Esther Coffey uh, and Miriam uh, uh, from the um, uh, National Population Council uh, orchestrated the uh, report uh, from uh, uh, Ghana and um, uh, 
if you read the report, you realize that although Ghana was one of the first countries uh, in Sub-Saharan Africa to actually have a population policy, uh, there's um, uh, many challenges uh, addressed to, to create the environment so that couples, one, have an opportunity to prevent unwanted pregnancies, and that to the development infrastructure uh, that's required for uh, from the cradle to the grave, primary health services, preventing adolescent pregnancy, increasing age of cohabitation or marriage, birth spacing, and all of the factors associated with reinforcing the value of smaller families uh, is reflected in the report and a huge challenge there, but um, Esther and her staff have done a brilliant job of presenting, uh, uh, writing that report. Um, and then, um, do we have, is, Char is, is, is Charles uh, uh, Obisi here? No. He is at the conference, but um, uh, he is also uh, an author of, of the report um, uh, and um, from Kenya, excuse me. Um, and then the, uh, the, the author of the report from uh, Uganda, uh, uh, unfortunately could not be here, uh, but she was very uh, uh, active uh, in uh, distributing uh, the report to uh, national leaders uh, in Uganda and uh, now uh, working actively to present the report to a, a broad constituent of, 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 of readership of religious leaders, uh, of politicians, parliamentarians, business leaders, uh, and others in Uganda with specific references to actions uh, they can take uh, to fulfill uh, the mandate of both the London Summit and the principles of the ICPD. So I want to thank uh, all the authors, and I want to express how much I appreciate uh, what it is they've done. What's important to understand in looking at any report like this is that as we speak today, the uh, statistics are going to change. Each year, they're either going to change for what's better or for what's worse within the context of population and development, population, the environment, uh, uh, women's uh, status. And um, to me, the most exciting opportunity recently uh, has been the uh, London Summit. Uh, how do you turn uh, policies uh, into programs and to budget allocations uh, and into services uh, that uh, 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 create a, uh, uh, an opportunity for uh, uh, couples to have uh, wanted uh, children? And basically, that's what I've been doing with the last uh, 50 years of my life. Uh, mostly uh, in Asia uh, and the Middle East. Um, I had the privilege of being here in Bangladesh, uh, well, early on in the 1960s, uh, working with the Camilla Project. But then in, when Bangladesh became an independent state, uh, I was here in 74 and 75 to have four projects. Uh, one was to uh, mobilize um, uh, family planning uh, field workers. Uh, and to um, uh, uh, regenerate the uh, surgical uh, contraceptive program. Today, in vasectomies, there's over 158,000 vasectomies performed in Bangladesh, uh, uh, close to 150,000 female surgical uh, contraceptive procedures. Uh, and uh, at the door, uh, the family planning field workers uh, have reached uh, every household uh, practically uh, tw uh, at least twice uh, every year with contraceptive services and a referral process uh, to take women to um, uh, and men uh, to uh, a broader frame of primary health service as well as contraceptive services. I ask uh, to have a distri distribution of this um, a uh, report uh, from uh, uh, Taslama Abed, who was the Minister of Women's Affairs in Bangladesh uh, in 1975 and 76. Because uh, if you read this, going back as far as 1975 and 76, you can see where the Minister of Women's Affairs uh, was deeply committed to uh, improving uh, the status of women as it reflected uh, the policy at the time uh, in a broad range of, 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 of efforts to um, uh, increase uh, the empowerment of young girls, 
uh, to prevent um, uh, uh, child marriages uh, and at the same time uh, provide primary health services and increase the birth spacing and reinforce the value of the small family goal. So, I, uh, But I reason, I, the reason I show you this ancient document is because it shows how uh, urgent and how disciplined the, the structure and commitment was at the time. We have in the room here one of the great pioneers uh, in uh, family planning, Zafula Chowdhury. Would you raise your hand? Here is a man who taught granny midwives how to do laparoscopic sterilizations. <laughs> His projects were one of the first projects that uh, uh, achieved a replacement size family uh, in Bangladesh. Uh, the, the, I must say, Zafula Chowdhury was one of a, a number of, 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 of very dramatic uh, leaders. Uh, who uh, focused on uh, the provision of uh, MVA services and surgical contraceptive services, and it led the way for the entire government uh, to restructure its program uh, to uh, expand those services in a very innovative way. So I want to, well, first of all, it's always fun to see people who've been around for as long as Zufal has been. <laughs> no. um, but uh, the other authors of the reports on Bangladesh, Atika Rahman Khan and Mustafa, Khan. We all worked here in the, uh, the mid-70s. Uh, Atik was responsible for the uh, training program, but also the clinical trials for all the new contraceptives that came in from the copper TU, the levonorgestrel IUD, the subdermal implants, the injectables, the emergency contraception. Uh, he was a, a, a hero in terms of the expanded access to manual vacuum aspiration. Uh, first with 180 uh, doctors uh, trained at 22 teaching hospitals, and then later 380 doctors, so that the MVA became an integral part of the program uh, early on in the, pro uh, in the, uh, in the in the provision of, of services. Um, uh, I uh, manufacture MVA kits in Taiwan. Uh, all the uh, uh, kits that are used by Marie Stopes and IPAS uh, come out of the factory that I set up in Taiwan. I lived in Taiwan. I manufactured the IUDs and inserters there. And um, uh, I, for a long time, was distributing 10, 20,000 MVA uh, kits a year, but now that's taken over mostly by IPAS and Marie Stopes. But if anybody wants any MVA kits, all you do is give me your card and a number of 100 kits are both single and double valve, and I'm happy to send them to you. <clears throat> we also have done surveys of contraceptive practices at teaching hospitals, and um, uh, I, uh, in, uh, in India, uh, Egypt, um, uh, this is the survey in India of the teaching hospitals. Um, this, uh, we also um, have done uh, similar projects in um, uh, Egypt, uh, the Philippines, uh, Pakistan, uh, Indonesia, uh, Nigeria, and in each one of the countries, um, Nigeria, uh, the, the OBGYN responsible for the survey was um, Felix Barish. Uh, and um, then we've sent uh, all the uh, hospitals who responded to the survey uh, this book. Uh, it's a textbook that's published every year. It is the definitive textbook on contraceptive technology. Again, if you give me your card, I will send you this textbook. Uh, it'd be my honor and privilege and then as well as I will show you the results of the surveys um, in the individual countries. Um, uh, the question now is, uh, how do you take the reports and save uh, women and children's lives? Um, how do you take the reports and increase access to contraceptive services? How do you take the reports uh, and from the cradle to the grave create the realities uh, that uh, many countries in here have achieved in terms of uh, couples wanting and eventually having smaller families. Uh, all the daunting um, realities that you referred to are very present and uh, very uh, uh, challenging, primarily in the, uh, the sub-Saharan African countries, Mali being a, a very good example of that. 
And so uh, this report, the data in these reports will change, whether we continuously uh, update the data in these reports um, is less relevant than whether the data uh, substantiates where it is the decision is made by design to achieve population stabilization, by lowering birth rates, or by increasing death rates. There's no alternative to population stabilization. I do think, though, that every person who's here uh, can right now uh, be most uh, excited, uh, not only by uh, the London Summit, but by many of the extremely dynamic and focused programs, India being the best example, where uh, the uh, uh, results, um, if they're achievable, will be achievable by the existing commitment that's being made. So thank you very much.